What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, and this week on The Drill, what I'm working on is uh, using Octane Scatter to animate a particle explosion. There's a really good tutorial by Rhett Dashwood um, that will be in the show notes below. And I wanted to use this to, to, what Rhett was doing was exploding it out of a sphere. And what I wanted to do is play around with a little bit of uh, Motext in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm playing around with uh, some Futura font here, which uh, I think is a nice, it's one of my favorite fonts. Um, and trying to get, maybe give it like a Nike or, um, you know, uh, look like that. So that's, we got this black background with the maroon, um, you know, almost hot pink uh, texture on it. And um, that's that's really all I was going for for the lockup here. Um, I was playing with a little bit of a um, deformer on the text, but I ended up ultimately killing that. Um, and uh, here we go, right into the octane uh, scatter material. So basically, what this is, uh, this technique is doing, is you're displacing the position of the particles that you're putting in the octane scatter. So I have an octane scatter, and in the octane scatter, I have uh, I, I turn my Motex into an object, and that object is where my spheres are being placed onto. And a uh, good tip that Red had was to turn the the polygons on the spheres way down, since these are um, really they're going to be really small. They're uh, one centimeter spheres with three polygons per, so it's it's a lot lighter on your scene. And I'm using um, a Retina uh, Retina uh, dis uh, sorry, is a retina displacement um, and texture pack from the French Monkey, and that will be in the show notes below as well. Um, and what that's doing is my black to white values are displacing um, the position and rotation of my particles uh, based on based on the you know the clip of those values. So um, what I w ended up doing, and what you can see back there, was I was animating the amount of displacement, um, uh, the it, it, not displacement, just the position move of the particles uh, based on that black to white value. Um, and then what I did here is I rendered out three different passes. I rendered out just the background. I rendered out the mo text uh, for just the first like 20 frames. And then I rendered out the particle layer for the full 200 frames. Um, then in after Effects, what I'm doing is in those first, I think it was like frame 17, you could see where the, the layer cuts to the, the particle layer, and I just chose the frame that the explosion was at its most violent, um, and that was all driven by the F curves, it, or the the curves in the dope sheet in uh, Cinema 4D, and just using some animation uh, curves, uh, using the curves that, that translate in all forms of animation just using the timing and spacing to get the type of explosion I wanted so here is uh, here we got a loop of, of what was actually made um, I really like how this came out I, I, I think it would be a lot cooler with just you know just off of a sphere shape um, or maybe uh, using the explosion coming off maybe certain parts of the text I think might look really cool. Um, the other thing is I ultimately with this render I don't like how the ca I have a camera pulling back this whole time. I don't like how the I have the I, I did intentionally have these particles slow down to a stop, but um, I think you know if I were to do this again I would have them continue to to move out into space. So. But that's it for this week's episode. Uh, this is a really simple technique, um, but it's a very powerful technique, and this is something you could do uh, playing around with particles. That if you're using Octane, but you haven't uh, started to use X particles, um, and you don't want to use a cloner to make this was 500,000 particles, so uh, it's a ton of particles, and it was a very quick um, setup and render. So. Um, 
If you have any questions, just let me know. That's all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.